What's up guys, welcome to this AI generated episode of a 2v2 game here on Dawn of War Soulstorm. Um, I'll quickly introduce the... Huh? I'll just quickly introduce the players here. So we've got Erlen uh, WE as Necrons and his ally is Saint Suna as Alda and Osif as Imperial Guard and Mad D Star as Chaos. So as you saw from the intro, this, this game was pretty much um well i asked the ai questions and it gave me you know answers from the list of maps game mode all that sort of stuff and this is what i found on on dow stats online so i was actually surprised i found something with such specific um you know search filters but here we go and it's a pretty high level game as well so should be pretty interesting. I haven't watched this game. This is my first time watching it, so here we go. How many times did I say so in that last sentence? I'll leave it up to you to count. Necrons going for four generators. Got a warrior squad out and another warrior squad on the way. His elder ally got Dark Reapers. Another Dark Reaper squad on the way as well. And just capturing the points. Imperial Guard. Uh, two Guardsmen with Commissar attached. Command squad as well, and Chaos going for, did, no he didn't, okay, I thought Imperial Guard built two infantry commands, I'm just tripping, Chaos going for, what's this, Chaos Lord, and he's got the Raptors out as well, probably was expecting the Dark Reapers, but um, yeah, just trying to sniff out any unfortified strategic points here, ooh, Got a bit of an itch on my head just then. And so he will manage to decap this point here. Looks like Elder only has the one Guardian Squad. Yeah, just one Guardian Squad in this build. I have seen this um, played a couple times. Yeah, so he's going for three Dark Reapers. So sacrificing that that second Dark, uh, Guardian Squad to to make more Dark Reapers. This means that it obviously it's going to be quite slow on capping its points. But hopefully with three Dark Reapers out, um, you know, the, the superior firepower and range of the Dark Reapers should be able to take out some of these tier 1 squads quite easily. Raptors managing to tie up the, this Dark Reaper squad, but they will be able to fleet a foot away from here. Yeah, Raptors aren't going to bother chasing them. What else is going on up here? Imperial Guard making some kind of push on Alda here. Irulan placing a generator in Alda's base. This is actually something clever you can do as Necrons. Build a plasma generator in your allies' base because their control area will allow you to build in their base and, and that'll allow you to teleport straight over there just in case you need to back them up in a pinch pretty good tactic dark reapers using their fleet of foot to chase these guardsmen and they decide to focus the command squad instead this is good stuff recently i've realized how important it is to just you know focus the enemy commanders early on luckily Osif manages to, to save his uh, general, hiding him inside the listening post. And the third Dark Reaper squad is now pushing on Chaos's listening post down here. But the Raptors will intervene, pushing the Dark Reapers back. And now Alder and Necrons together are going to take out this listening post. Maybe get a decap on the relic as well. So, Imperial Guard will rotate to the left side of the map and deny this cap by Necrons here. Is that two Guardsmen squad? Yeah, two Guardsmen squad. One will stay behind to capture the relic. Chaos now trying to focus down this plasma generator. Uh, yeah, he's done what he needs to do. Now he's just going to pull out. But as you saw, the Necron Warriors were able to teleport in. 
um, but they were unable to s save the generator. If the Necronaut had the phase shift, he might have been able to save it, but he doesn't have the Forbidden Archive, so that isn't happening. IG now just focusing down the, the generators. Won't be able to take any out though, uh, so the scabs will manage to repair them quite quickly. So both teams just trading blows right now. Trading listening posts. Um, until they hit tier 2 and then that's when the big fights are going to happen. If this game gets to tier 2, I'm sure it will. It's f***ing minutes long. I mean, sorry what? You didn't, you just, I'm going to blur that out in post. You didn't hear how long I just said the game was. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I want to keep you guys uh, in suspense. Three Necro Warriors trying to hold the line here, but unfortunately the Guardsmen have the, the grenade launchers, so they won't be able to do much. They're just going to suicide themselves. And then now the Raptors making a big push into Necron's base, but uh, er Erlen has the flayed ones. We'll be able to chase these Chaos Marines away. If not for their high damage, um, they will manage with their high morale damage. You know, just being in proximity to these guys will destroy their morale a little bit. As you can see with the Raptors already below half, halfway in their morale. Lots of stuff going on at the moment guys, um, I'm trying to f <laughs> focus on everything that I can. So Chaos had attacked Necrons, but we're now pushed back here. Outer secures this relic on Chaos' side, or yeah, Chaos had that relic. Now Alda has it. Raptor's still tying up these Dark Reapers, but yeah, get rid of one Colter squad and then one Dark Reaper squad is freed up from being tied up there. So yeah, that's a pain with the Raptors when when you um, do the do all these jumps, but you keep losing units. You have to keep you know. It's like maintenance, you have to keep reinforcing them. So it really makes you wonder if they're even worth it sometimes. But they do have really high damage. Which is nice. Now Chaos and Imperial Guard are gonna push together. Chaos with his two marine squads with their sparring champions and plans with pistols. Will be a pretty scary match for these Necrons. Will the Elder Dark Reapers be able to handle it? Not, not this Dark Reaper squad by itself, for sure. Also, grenade launchers are added to the Imperial Guard as well, so it's going to be quite tricky to deal with this mess. Managing to take out one obelisk. Meanwhile, what else is happening here? <laughs> Chaos capping his point, but Necrons will just decap it immediately. Will the Raptors kill the Scarabs in time? No, I don't think so. Barely. Barely make it, but uh, yeah, there we go. Hmm. Dark Reapers realize they can't handle all of this, so they were, well they were focusing this listening post, but now they're going to come back. Once they get the optics upgrade, yeah, they'll be able to outrange these units, which you, you can see here, this long range by the Dark Reapers right now. Um, this is the optics research is done. Can't remember how much it increases their range by. This will show you exactly the numbers. Wow. Holy crap. That's amazing. Harlequin now out from Dark Elder. I guess she's gonna kick around these, yeah, idle Imperial Guard. Ooh. 
probably a lack of micro there by by osif but the harlequin's harlequin's kiss eradicates that entire guardsman squad pretty nasty great the necronaut got his solar pulse so oh sorry sorry the john cena beam got to use the correct um terminology here yeah so that's that um with all that ranged firepower that the these two guys chaos and ig had the the john cena beam will just nullify that now and now destroys are out do these guys have anti-vehicle i don't think so well priests are technically anti-vehicle got a bessie on the way hmm okay probably for the dark reapers What about for the destroyer though? Okay, yeah, I suppose Raptors can tie the destroyer. How good is the destroyer in melee? It's alright, I suppose. It's not bad. But it's not good either. Better at ranged, at least. So now Chaos... Trying to make a fierce defense here. What do we got? Two Dark Reapers, Destroyer. Not much in the tr in, in in terms of the uh, the opposite team's uh, attack force. Yeah, the, these Bessies will knock about these Dark Reapers. We do a fair bit of damage to them, to be honest. They are pretty squishy. Nice Rhino. Uh, Sting here from from Mad Distar. He can chase down the Dark Reapers. Basically, the fleet of foot ain't got nothing on on the Rhino. I'm pretty sure the Rhino is faster. One Dark Reaper squad gonna get wiped out. Potentially. Is that the X Arch? Well, it's gone now. Destroyer is not gonna do much against this armor vehicle. More destroyers though, out from Necrons. And is that four? It was four Dark Reaper squads. One one squad obviously got wiped out, but three still remain, which is still pretty pretty tough to deal with. Look at the range on these guys. It's pretty intense. Bonesinger gonna jump in. Ray to this turret. It'll put the turret out of action. And it goes down very fast. Necron's now gaining control of this relic. If we just quickly look at the view. Okay, so this is what this team can see. This must look pretty terrifying. Bessie's doing good, but I think they need to be focusing more on this mess rather than all of them. They all seem to just be focusing on this one squad. Um, yeah, there we go. Now it now they're hitting the, the the masses there. However, mortals will just take down these vehicles no problem, and Osif calls GG. After losing the one Bessie and the Sentinel, I think uh, that was it for him. So... Oh, and a Brightlands platform is out, so out there is tier 3. Brightlands platforms, when they, whatever they hit, um, anything that attacks that unit will do even more damage than, than it normally does. Very, very strong solid unit to have it's a must i think if you play elder you need to make this unit as you can see this little red shield icon thing pops up when you see that yeah focus that unit it'll uh it'll go down in seconds but anyway so chaos leaves and i guess osif has already left 
but the game doesn't seem to register that until a couple seconds. Sorry, I eat and play, says Elder. Plays like a god and... Nah, sorry, I was just... Uh, I had to eat and play at the same time. <laughs> Continues to micro like a fucking genius. Oh. Anyway, so yeah, this was... Um, you guys can thank ChatGPT for for this game. Shout out to um, yeah ChatGPT for sending through this replay. Um, I really enjoyed casting it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.